Hi everyone, welcome back to Feb's Kitchen and thank you all for your support. If you're new to this channel, also subscribe and get to enjoy more of amazing recipes that I, I, I always share. So today I'm sharing with you a video like I'll be doing a uh, seven days fruits and vegetable diet. So like I'll be eating like only fruits and vegetables for seven days. So in this video, I'm going to show you some of the vegetables and fruits that I bought. And in the coming videos, I'll be showing you what I eat for like seven days. So I'll just do a video, one video and then compile everything. Yeah, so let me show you. So I bought bananas and pineapples. Yeah, I also bought watermelon the oranges avocado and mango you only do fruits that you love so if you have if you love others you can also add also bought tomatoes carrots okay i also bought lettuce i'll be using it for salad i bought tamarind because i love drinking tamarind juice in the morning and that's zucchini this is eggplant these are the bell peppers, green, red, and yellow, and that's carrot. Yeah, so that's what I bought. And moving on, over here is celery, and then green peas, parsley, this is okra, and cabbage. Yeah, so next I bought the traditional vegetables, that, that is managu. And I also have spinach and kills. That's skuma wiki. I love skuma wiki and spinach. So yeah, I have leeks over here. And I also have potatoes and I will just leave them here in this open place. And then the carrots, I store them in this container. The tomatoes, I usually mix with or lemon, but today I didn't buy lemon, so because I want to be using it, so I'll just store it there. And then for the zucchini, I'm just slicing the ones that I'll be using most recently. So, yeah, so after I've sliced these ones, and then here it is, the rest I'll just cover it with the this fling cling film and then store it in the fridge yeah so even the ones that have cut i'll store them in the fridge and here this tin i used i use it to store the tamarind so that tamarind has been here for like two weeks and this one is the new one so i'll just put this new one over here and then the other one also then also store them in the fridge yeah so i'm looking forward for this diet <laughs> i've never tried it before because i love i love meat and i love chicken like i love chicken and meat but since i'll be doing only vegetables and fruits i hope it all goes well without being tempted yeah so just put them there and then store away. Now I'm um, putting away the the pepper, the bell peppers. Yeah, so after washing them, everything, I had washed everything. So now I'm just drying it and then putting it in this bowl. Then I will cover with that cling film. This because I don't have a larger bowl that, a larger container with a lid that i can store it here yeah? so that's why i'm putting them over here and then i will cover because like you know the bell pepper have a very strong smell so when you leave it open in the fridge you like you find your fridge smelling so that's why i will cover I'll, i cover it and then yeah just store it in the fridge without any worry of your fridge smelling Yes, so cover it and if you feel that cling film is not enough, you add more like I did. I will just show you. 
in here yeah just right now anyway so this diet by the way i think it will be fun just trying out different ways of eating vegetables and fruits yeah you can eat do smoothies or salads or just eat them like that yeah so here over here is the lettuce it was i had washed it but somehow it isn't that much clean so i'm just removing the parts that i can remove and then wash because i'll be using all that i'm not just removing them to throw away so for this one this one is now super clean but i'll just rinse it more after rinsing it yeah i'll just store it away for the leaves i i'm just cutting them yeah just to store them away without like because i didn't want to throw all this away so i've washed it and then cut then after this these ones i'll be using for salad yeah so i hope you you are ready to enjoy different ways of enjoying your vegetables and fruits i guess fruits and vegetables can be fun to eat like i'm just ready to try it so for the other one for the remaining lettuce after i've washed i've washed it i am now drying it with the kitchen towel this kitchen towel i've used it to dry a lot of like the the pepper and then now the lettuce just dry it dry it so after drying it and then i decided to cover it with the cling film i'm not sure if this is the correct way to store it but i just considered doing so because i felt that i shouldn't just store it like that so that's why i just cover it and then i will store it in the fridge yeah so for this one i'm just going to put them in the containers because uh, after all i'll be using them soon so i don't mind if i put them in this container and then put them in the fridge yeah so that's what i am doing these these lettuce are very good for salad yeah so i'm just looking forward to enjoy this diet so that way i am done so i'll put it in the fridge so over here i have the green peas i'm just putting them in this container and then store them in the fridge in the freezer i'll freeze them the last time i bought these green peas it was 50 shillings but it wasn't like it wasn't full in this container the container was not full but this time i can't even close the container so i have to like cut, divide some and then yeah store store them in in separate containers i think their season maybe their season is peaking and now they are putting more yeah so maybe so over here is okra i have always loved okra but every time i go to the supermarket to the market i find like i don't find them so today i found them and i just thought of buying them you can enjoy them with rice they are really delicious with meat but since i'm not doing meat so i'll just enjoy them with rice yeah so after these ones i had also washed so after also washing them i dried and then store them these are parsley so with this uh okay i'd also washed these ones so i'm just removing the leaves that i'll be using and then i will store it the same way i, I store coriander which is after doing all that and drying them with the towel then i line the container with the serviette or if you have a kitchen towel kitchen, that yeah that paper kitchen towel kitchen towel yeah paper i at this point i don't know what i'm saying 
So you if you have that line your container and then cover cover it again and then store it in the fridge. Yeah. So that's what I do for for coriander. Yeah, and also this one I thought of, yeah, why not do the same? So that's it. So next this is the celery. For this one, I'm just cutting the the root part. This one, I will put it in the kitchen garden. I had some container with, yeah, some onions. So I will I will also add that one too. So over here, I'm just removing the stalks and then the leaves. The leaves I will use for maybe celery juice or for garnishing. So the video that I will be showing you in the next after seven days of this okay for the remaining days i'll just be showing you like what i cook for others in my family for like yeah before the seven days are over because i want just to make that video for the whole seven days and then i compile everything but i'll just see how it goes if i can make a video every day i'll do it but if i can't i'll just be making the videos and then compile everything because i don't see the need of making just short short videos every day so i'll just make the video every day and then compile everything yeah so over here now that i have separated the stalks and the leaves i am drying the stalks and then storing them in this container for the part that i have not cleaned properly i'll just store it here and then i will clean it when using it so because it shouldn't have water in them i want them to remain as hard as possible for the longest time I can it can yeah, so after that just cover them and then store in the fridge so I also have spring onions and they are usually good with soups I have bananas over here I cut them and I will freeze them because I will be using them for smoothies so I have the leeks over here they are also good for soups and okay so here is how i have arranged them those ones are just my cereals and then over here i have the bananas and peas and then nothing much here so down here i have the okra i have parsley there's also zucchini and then i have ginger and garlic paste that i've been using for more than two weeks now and then the lettuce and then down here is the celery leaves and more lettuce and carrots then down here is the tomatoes yeah here is the tamarind yeah and just that so let's get ready for the ride for the next seven days okay i have now started cutting the kales so i'm going to finish cutting the veggies and then i will parboil them then just throw them yeah like that they won't go bad so for the spinach i will cut some and also just leave some and yeah, so you see i am progressing well <laughs> yep so i hope you will enjoy this video by the way so thank you all so much for watching like comment and subscribe